Who ordered this big box? Oh, wait. It was me. Alright, folks. How are we going? We've got a few boxes here. Is it right on? Gee, I'm getting too old for this. Ah, there's probably around eight. So, how about we do four and four? We'll do four now, and we'll do four later. Let's get through these cards. Let's, let's have a look at them. Here we go. We turned our lights off. We made it a little bit better. Let's move the camera up. We got our trusty... I don't know why I say every word wrong. We got our trusty knife. You call that a knife? This is a knife. We have here, we've got to make sure there's no PSA invoice in any of these, so you guys don't all just randomly turn up to my house. We will see how good and how badly I did. This mission on average, it was, I'd put it in the not bad. You know, it's not bad. Some good stuff, some bad stuff. A lot of PSA 9s on cards that I would be really happy if they didn't get PSA 9s, obviously. But, hey, what can you do? All right, almost got the third box. See, this is usually why I prepare all these before. I prepare these before I do the video, just because you don't have to listen to me ramble and open boxes and all this other junk. And we have one more stack. And here we go. All right. What should we start with? Let's see if you can guess which stack I'm going to start with. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm doing this one. Okay. So, I think this is the start of this mission. It might be. I bought a bunch of Charizard EXs a while ago. <clears throat> Sorry. I bought a bunch of Charizard EX. I bought ones that uh, weren't in that great condition. I mean, if you look at that. This makes me wonder why I'm even, like... Not bothering to send or why I'm even like sending cards that aren't all perfect because I really wanted to test with these so some of the cards of my recent videos which I don't submit which have a bit of wear I will probably just be straight up submitting them because they look like they just get nines so yeah I bought a bunch of these which weren't in good condition on purpose to see what I could get and it'll be pretty eye-opening for you to see just how kind of rough a PSA 9 can get. Let me see if I can move this line probably over that way. I can do that. So we've got a bunch of rough corners, rough edge, I mean the whole cut, yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I, It's weird because I grade the cards on purpose so I don't have to be the person that decides the condition. And it's just, yeah, you see the edge wear there, edge wear at the bottom, it's an eight apparently. All these cards, seven, eight, nine, they all look the same. So you see those scratches all around. Charizard X, obviously a great card. Just a very, very nice one. We've got a whole bunch. Wow, this one's so much more red than that one. Is that more red? Does that look more red to you? Is that just me? The left one, this one. This one's like more red. It's like the more red variant. How many times can I say more red? This one's not in as bad condition. See if there's any hidden things. So yeah, as usual, when buying graded cards, always vet the card. I can't really ask for the highest price in the world for these Charizard EX cards, because I don't think some of these nines are that mint, to be honest. So I'm being completely transparent here. If you do want to buy a Charizard EX off me and you do see it on my website, they might not be a traditional mint card, which is kind of what I want to get into on this video. It's Oh, look at the hollow bleed on this one. Wow, that's amazing. All the way across. Pristine, right, you? Oh, Lost Link Snorlax 9. I mean, we'll probably see this card with very, very little edge at the top there. Apparently, that's a 9. Start a deck, right, you? I don't ever really get upset about grades. I just want some. I just want consistency. At least consistency within the own. Within like its own submission i mean this card looks pretty damn good is there a, is it like kind of dented at the top there maybe that's it can't see any features on the if i can't see something on the card within like five seconds 
but I just really wonder what they see. But when you see this, and you see the back of this card, and it has no edge wear. You see the back of this card? It's got edge wear there, edge wear all the side, on the top. Some of these earlier nines, like the first one I pulled out. Edge wear all around, edge wear, edge wear, edge wear. Drink whenever I say edge wear. I think it's just generally... I don't know. It's kind of disappointing to get a nine on a card that's like really nice condition and then get a nine on a card that's like really bad condition. But let's see, this is a LP promo Cyndaquil. I'm not used to getting nine. Oh, wait, this is a 10, right? Okay. I'm gonna go to 10. A total dollars a nine. I'm not used to getting nines on these cards just because like they have such a crazy high 10 rate. But, you know, maybe. Sometimes I wish you got like a condition report or something that would like be able to make me a better submitter, but yeah, from what I'm looking at, there's pretty there's something down the bottom here that's like stuck to the card. Maybe that's what stopped it, but again, I've submitted so many cards. I have a general idea, but no one's perfect. Uh, I think I might see something just there. There might be a little bit of an indent or something. I don't really know. It's hard to see. We got 10 on the Teddy Ursa. Now, as usual, every card that I show will be available in my store. It's actually not too bad. So I only got one nine out of the full set. Ooh, we got the Bento Box 7. Oh yeah, it's a bit creased. I think they're too harsh on creases. Card's like flawless otherwise. It's just like it's bent in this corner. It's hard to see, I think. But you can kind of see it bending and then you see a little bit of a dent next to the energy symbol. 9 Celebrity Promo, 9 Basic Pack Gyarados. Well, I mean, if I was a 9 buyer, I would want to buy this one. Blimey. That's a bit ridiculous. A lot of these cards I might have to go through at another date and probably try to maybe regrade. I don't like to use the regrade word, but I think sometimes there is a chance that regrading is good. So we got the Yan Mega Clash at the Summit Prime. Move that over there. <laughs> PSA 9 Primes are really rough because they're generally pretty unsellable in comparison to 10s that just fly off the shelf. So you see, got the edge right at the top there. Yeah. I agree. Should be a 9. I can see a flaw. You win. So we got the PSA 8 Crobat. That's wild. Soul Silver? Prime? I'm looking. I'm trying my best right now. I'm looking. I'm deep. If you see someone on this card, you let me know, but I'm trying to see if there's any like hidden I mean there's a dot of edge where there. Corners look great. Hmm. Another Another mysterious one. Maybe this top right corner is like a little bit lipped. Maybe this corner. Yeah, that's another funny one. I mean, I guess that's an eight. The Charizards are nines, but that is an eight. So we got a nine on the M Frost, unfortunately. So top, bottom. Yeah, they might actually want me to resubmit some of these. Maybe they just want more of my money. Because this is definitely. Okay, now you can see here, that's completely justified. That one has a little bit of a dent edge wear thing at the top. I completely agree. It's got something wrong with it that you can visibly see. That's completely fair. Maybe that's what's wrong with some of these. It's just really hard to see with the hollow borders. Don't blame them. PSA 10 is hard to get for a reason. We've got the Typhlosion Prime 9. Wow, that is clean. This card, no, it's not. It's 
This one also, uh, it's not perfect. It has some scratches. I mean, this scratch down there, that's fine. Probably missed it, but it's a Typhlosion Prime. It's a great card. I've got the Arcanine Hollow. Looks pretty good to me. Two Meganium Nines. I mean, it's just sad. You spend a long time looking for these, but it is what it is. This one's got a little bit of a dent in the top. Very sad. Bit of edgeware down the bottom. Let me just see. I'll show you. There it is. Sorry about my thumb. There's a dot on it for whatever reason on my thumb. And we'll look at this one on the right. The, most of these nines are completely justifiable. There's no reason to even warrant trying to crack these because there is edgeware. That's just how it is. I think... um. A little bit more consistency would be good, but, you know, they are only human, after all. And then we get this Venusaur EX. I mean, we got PSA 10 on this, but a bit of edge down the bottom. So it's, you know, it's one of the... I just don't know, to be honest. We've got the Charizard 25th. We've got a 9 on this. Okay, yeah, completely justified. There is edgeware. That's fine. That's a lot of edgeware, actually. We got the 8 on the Pikachu. That's rough. That is rough. Okay. Maybe there's something on this card that I just... You know, obviously trying to see through a case and everything, it's a lot harder, but... Maybe the top just isn't nicely cut. Maybe there's something on the surface, maybe the centering's no good. Maybe one of the corners is a little bit damaged, like this corner here has a little bit of a thing. Surely that wouldn't drop it to an 8. I mean, come on. Let's be serious here. Might have to try and regrade that one. I mean, it's only $15 to regrade. If that card goes 8 to 9, it's definitely a lot more. We've got a PSA 3 Charizard here. Yeah, it's damaged. It literally doesn't matter anything. PSA 7, Torchic Rocket Gang. I mean, realistically, this looks just the same as the Charizard, if not worse. So, oh, what the heck? You know what I mean? Ooh, PSA 10 sequential. Wait, why are they in the same box but they're not like... Why are the numbers are mixed up on these? Why is this like placed here? But that's 70 and that's 56. Okay, whatever. Oh. I mean, you can even see on this card here, it's like big print line all the way across. They have Edger at the top. And this card is not that great condition. I can see scratches all over it. I was probably aiming for a 9 on this. So, why do my other primes get 9s and Earth Ring just gets a 10? I mean, I'll take it, but. Yeah, same thing here. You can kind of see. I'm very sorry if you're a future buyer of these cards and you want to look at them or you find this video two, two years later, but there's scratches all over this. That's a 10. Reverse Crobat. This one has the same issues. Edger at the top there. PSA 9. Another 9 Ampharos. Oh, that's a nice Typhlosion. Edger at the top. Perfectly fine. Reverse Steelix. Edger at the top. Perfectly fine. And then we got the Legend card. Palkian Dialga Legend. Beautiful. See, I don't, I, you know, it's one of those things. It's just hard to. I, I hate complaining. There's so many people that complain. PSA this, PSA that, PSA this. I just want like pure consistency through my own submission. You know, I, you know, it's probably on me sending. There's a bunch of edge at the top. Like obviously, this card doesn't deserve a ten, and I'm not going to complain. That's doesn't that doesn't deserve a ten, but. You kind of get 10s in the same submission that are like way better condition. I mean, this card has like no edge wear, front to back. Wow, that's amazing. It must have some sort of scratch somewhere. Oh, what is that down the bottom there? This light makes it really hard to focus. You can see that it's a little bit of a dent down the bottom here. I mean, that's perfectly fine if that is... Oh, that's so close. Okay, we got 
We've got one Ampharos 10. That's not too bad. Let's look how good our 10 is. So our 10 has a tiny bit of edge wear, but nothing crazy. Yeah. Pretty happy with that. We've got a Ursa Ring, PSA 8. Now I wouldn't call this mission like getting crushed or anything because I do not think I got crushed. I think generally the grades are pretty good on everything. If it deserves a 10, it got a 10. If it didn't, it doesn't, it didn't. It's perfectly fine. Got a 10 on the Tyranitar, which is awesome. Got a 9 on the Houndoom. Perfectly fine. It's a bit edge where. Oh, nice. We got a 10 on the Houndoom. Wow, that's crazy. But, I mean, it has the same. Because, like, this has edgeware here, right? And this has edgeware here. You can't tell me that's different edgeware. It's, like, almost identical. It's almost in the same spot, too. That's nuts. That actually might be in, like, the exact same spot, like, above the E and the M. What the hell? Am I tripping right now? But one's a 9 and one's a 10. I mean, I guess, but... That makes me think I can just resubmit the 9. So maybe I will do a resubmission video with like a bunch of these primes because I feel like, you know, and we got a nine on this one. It's flawless. I mean, you can't judge everything by purely edgeware just because there are like things that we just can't see, obviously, especially not like I'm looking underneath the camera onto the card and I'm not really looking at it that close. And also I didn't grade the card and it's in a plastic case, but you know, I would prefer the one that's super clean to get a 10 and the ones that aren't clean not to get 10s. So we've got a sizzle here. Yeah, a bit of edgeware, a bit of edgeware. 8, yeah, most likely right. We've got an 8 blissy. Yeah, perfectly fine. Bit of edgeware there, bit of edgeware down the bottom. Maybe I should hold this card out a little bit more. I'm sorry if this is annoying you. I'm just looking at the top parts. Let me know if I can improve these videos. So we've got the edgeware at the top as well. I mean, I didn't buy these cards as perfect condition cards. I'm perfectly happy with nines. So, got the nine reverse Ampharos. Wow, that is clean. I mean, maybe the right hand side. Wow. Got the two tops 110, 10 has some edgeware. The nine has some edgeware, I guess. Bottom half. That's a long video. I'm sorry if I'm going too slow. There we go. A little bit of a edge wear on this, on this 9 as well. This is my PSA 8 Mew. I don't know how much I bought this for. I don't even remember it being in this submission. I got some edge at the top. It's pretty normal. I think the centering definitely hit at one grade. Oh, and there's a little dent at the top there. So I guess 8 is fair. Can't argue with that. We've got the bottom half, Suicune. One dot of edgeware. It's not too bad. I think that's perfectly fine for a 10 to have that because 10s have had that since I've started with grading with PSA. It's just hard when you have a card that is better condition and doesn't get the grade. But that's just how it is. So the top corners there, pretty rough. Comes like that out of the pack. One last stack. This is going to be a more than a 20 minute video. So we got the legend half, pretty awesome. But I mean, like the whole top right hand. Yeah, we're definitely cracking all those cards and resubmitting. I'm sorry. I will not sell those as nines. They get nines a second time. Maybe. I don't think this is top and bottom. I don't know why the boxes are all mixed up, but that's just how it is. So we got, yeah, I don't know. I don't know who's looking at these cards. Maybe they shouldn't be grading, to be honest. There's a bit of edge around this nine, perfectly fine. Got the Flareon Gold Star. Unfortunately, we've got the eight. Oh yeah, there's a crease there, binder crease. Wow, eight binder crease, that's a bit. Oh, that's a six, that's not an eight, what the hell? What's wrong with me? Why do they think that's a eight? Got the Amphros Hard Gold. Got 
Got the Palkia Dialga. What is this, a 10? Jesus Christ. Wow. See, I don't even know what to think. I can't... Uh, how, uh, how, oh, oh. That's fine. Oh, we got a uh, 8 on the World Champions pack. Back pouring on God's Star. Yeah, that's a pretty nasty Visa Edge Bay there. At the bottom, it's fine. Perfectly fine with this 8. Got the Unlimited Vaporeon 9. This is worth a lot in 10. If this card is clean, which it is not. Sorry, I shouldn't hit the cards like that. Yeah, this kind of has like little scratches all over it. Whoa, that's nasty. Whoa. Still a good card. Still a good card. Uh, please buy it. Um, Alakazam. Back onto the Lugia EXs. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome card. I don't actually see anything wrong with this. Has to be some sort of mark right there. Maybe that's like a... Is that creased? Oh, this card's actually creased. Wow, that's very sad. That's got a 9. Oh, we've got an 8. That's pretty good. I'm sure the 8 is... Mm, no crease or indents that I can feel. But maybe it's just like off-center or something? Oh, it looks like some dirt on the card. Maybe we crack this. Oh, you see a little indent? And some dirt. Maybe we clean that off and try and go for a nine. Because I, these cards are really hard to come by. I mean, um, I'm pretty emotionally invested in these cards. I'm not going to lie. They take a lot of time to find. They take a lot of time to source. You ride a lot on getting like the higher grade. Because you try to buy the best condition cards. And obviously, that Lugia doesn't deserve a ten. Doesn't Probably doesn't even deserve a nine. But maybe we try and clean it. Maybe this one here. Maybe we can try and clean this. I generally don't clean the cards. as I just don't have time. I'm submitting too many, but definitely stuff like that. I mean, that's pretty hard to see. I don't know if that was the one that stopped it from getting it or if, like, the edgeware stopped it or is there anything, but it sucks cracking cards because it's just such a time waste and such a waste of plastic and resources, but we will do that. So we got a Dark Raker Celia Legend 10. Gonna they just place these randomly in the boxes unless I did that. I mean this is 09, 19, and 15. Someone's been messing with these submissions. So we've got a 9 on this one. I don't know what that is, but I must have missed that. That is a nasty scratch. That's crazy. <laughs> Rage of the Bo Broken Heavens, Espeon, PSA 10. Great condition. That's nice. I'm very happy with that card. We got an 8 Cresselia Dark Ray Legend, and we got a 9 Entei Raikou Legend. The 8 is looking about like an 8. It looks like that corner's got a big dent in it. That's perfectly fine. It's just up there if you wanted to look at that. And just there. So yeah, I mean, a few cards out of here I'm definitely going to crack because I do think they have the chance of the 10. But most of them, it's pretty fair, like the 8s and some of the 9s. It's fair. I mean, you can't complain too much because they're overall pretty consistent. I just wish they were like a little bit more consistent within the own submission. I don't enjoy getting a damage 10, to be honest. Because it just leaves a sour taste in the buyer's mouth. And I don't enjoy getting really, really mint 9s with like one thing wrong with them. That still falls under the PSA 10. But that's just how it is. You take the ones you win on and you leave the ones you don't win on. So... Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.